All right, guys, welcome to another video on this 1982 Collector's Edition Corvette. So today I'm going to show you a little trick when it comes to changing out the dash light bulbs in these cars. So we're first going to take a little step inside my 1973. Yes, it's dirty. I drive it. Anyway, so I want to show you guys this because from 68 all the way to 1976, the dashes in these cars looked like this. 77 was half of this, but anyway, what I wanted to show you is you can't replace the bulbs without putting your hand up underneath the dash and or taking the entire dash pad out or that kind of stuff. And then in 1978, they went from this kind of 1960s looking interior to more of a square 1980s looking interior in preparation for the C4. So you can see in this car, there actually is quite a bit of difference in the way the, the dashes look. I mean, the gauges are technically in the same place, but everything instead of being round is square. And that was very 1980s. So the biggest reason why they went from round to square was they're adding something like this. It's called a printed circuit. Basically, Instead of an individual wire going to every single one of these terminals, you had one plug, and then, then the printed circuit moved all the electricity to where it needed to go. It was probably easier to install, it was probably faster on the assembly line. All the GM cars, late 70s, early 80s, they went to this kind of thing. The same with um, the gauge cluster. In the past, it had been a, a single plug for every single one of these things, and then it's just one master plug, plug it in and basically you're done. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> as I said in the past, you had to reach up and pull out one plug, put the new bulb in, put the plug back. It's easier to pull the whole entire dash out, but at least this way, you can actually do it with the stuff still in the car. The exception is the gauge cluster. You can't, you, you can pull this out and replace the bulbs, but you can't do that without removing it. But the center cluster you can, and it's actually pretty easy. So for this job, all we're going to need is Allen keys, a short stubby screwdriver, and a pack of brand new bulbs. And a pack of brand new bulbs that look like this. This is the type of bulb that these take. So it's fairly simple. What you want to do is first you're going to take the lens off, then you're going to take the plastic cover off underneath, and then that will expose you to the speedometer and the tack, which then can also be removed, and then you will get to the bolt. So first you want to take your tilt wheel and you want to put it as far down as you can. Second, there are five screws. There's two on the side and there's three in the top. Now if you take a second to look, there's two holes, two holes, and two holes. Basically you have three screws that hold the cluster into the dash, and then three screws that hold the lens into the cluster. And what you want to take out are the screws that hold the lens to the cluster. They're tiny little baby screws and it's easy to see which ones they are because the holes are smaller. So the reason why I have a baby screwdriver is the only way to get up over the column. So there we go, there's one of the little baby screws. I don't know if you can see that. Now it is very possible that these will be missing because People don't know how to take these apart, and they lose them, and they put wood screws in them, etc., etc. So this lens comes down like this, just slide it out forward toward you, and that part is done. Next, we're going to use the Allen key to take out six screws that are on top of this speedometer, tachometer housing. They're actually, <laughs> these ones are real. The ones over here are fake. Don't try to take these ones out. Why they did it that way, I don't know. Put those six screws out. This just kind of pops out just like that. Now, if you look, I don't know if you can see through that. Turn signals, brights, brake. So, you can test and see if these bulbs work now. Um, if you're going to just do the turn signals or any of these center ones, it's, you're at that point now that you can do it. So as you can see, the center bulbs are exposed, but we still need to get to the bulbs behind the speedometer and the tack. 
Those are the ones that light up the instrument cluster, etc., etc. Um, how to do that is you get a quarter inch socket and there's three bolts on each one of these. Now the tack will just pop out. The speedometer, you have to reach up behind the dash, press the clip in that holds the speedometer cable to the speedometer and then it will pop out. I will show you that once I get it out. So the tack kind of just pops right out. It has these prongs in it that attach to little prongs inside of the car. So that's, that's the easy one. Just like that, and it comes popping out. So this has cruise control, so it has a little cable on it. Um, you can just hang it down just like that. You can see right here the little tab that needs to be pushed down. It's right here, and it just releases the, the cable right there. All right, so now we're at the point where you can change the bulbs out. Uh, pretty simple, basically. Pull them out, put the new ones in. <clears throat> Check this out. And now they all work. So another thing you need to, to pay attention to is the little holders. So you see the difference between, maybe it's better if they're off, I don't know, maybe not. Um, that one's really dark and that one isn't, that's because I replaced that one, the little um, <clears throat> holder for the bulb, they get really hot and they can burn up. So make sure you check those out before, after you start replacing bulbs if you can't get one to work. So there you go. I hope this helps somebody out in fixing their Corvette. If you do this and your lights don't work at all, that's a whole, whole different video and a whole different uh, set of problems. But if all you have to do is change out your bulbs, like upgrade them to LEDs, that kind of thing, this video will be perfect for you. So I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one.